So this is going to be just a quick video on how to draw the head. Well, not how to draw the head. We're going to see how far we can get by drawing the head in about 10 minutes and see what kind of likeness and how much we can get down. Today, I'm going to be using a Nitram charcoal pencil, N-I-T or A-M. The nice thing about these charcoals is that you can actually sharpen them with some sandpaper, uh, get a nice point on them so you can use the side and whatnot. So I'm going to just throw myself into this and see how far we can get. Again, I'm going to start off with the gesture. I'll go quick, but I'll still explain how we, I can go. Uh, I'm not going to be worried about likeness too much. I just want to see if I can get a head down in just a few minutes and how much information I can get down in that time, you know? I'm going to just feel my way around the drawing, picking up on what I can, using the underside of the cheek there to give myself a nice swish, and then maybe we'll get the brow in as well. Um, get that nose in. We're just finding gesture overall. And not too worried about proportions. Hopefully they'll come to us as we go. As we feel ourselves away. Now if you see if my other um, head drawing head drawing video. Um, I'm very I'm a bit more measured about it all. And I'm taking some of those techniques uh, into this one. But I don't need to be too crazy with it. Um, I can just use, you know, the side of my pencil or my, my charcoal stick to put in um, what was it more I talk putting in shadows and whatnot. Now I wish I got the softer one because this one's a bit harder so it takes a bit more force to go down. That's okay, we'll find that as we go. We'll work with it. Getting the cheeks in, just seeing what I'm missing. Maybe we'll get that hair in. We have, don't have the rest of the, the um, forehead in, so we'll throw that in. And get that in. Where are we now? Where's the end of our jawline? It falls somewhere from the lips, so about here, I think, I'm, is where I'm looking. For that jawline. The nose we might pop in just a little bit more, just to get some sense of it. And then the... Yeah, the bottom of the ear should be around here, right? If we find our flow there. Top of the ear, rolling down from the brow. Should be around here. I think I'm my brow's a little bit off. Let's fix that just slightly. And then do 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 find the back of that head. Get that hair in maybe just to have some sort of big shapes in. More to play around with. The more we can get in these few minutes the better, I think. It's more of a challenge and a challenge to ourselves, but also like a way of freeing yourself up by being too, too particular about your your portrait drawing. And uh, now I have a hand in here as well, so I'll just get the idea of that in, so it doesn't look too silly if we just leave the head in. Just using straight lines, even curved lines, seeing what feels right at the time. Alright, we got kind of our placement for everything. Let's see how much we can refine. How far are we in? We're only like two minutes in, two, three minutes in. Let's see how much we can refine in that time we have left to make this a bit more like the person we're trying to draw. So maybe I'll, instead of going fast through it, I'll just try put my marks down, but try to be accurate about everything. Accuracy also relates to speed in your drawing. You don't go back um, fixing everything as much, you know. Maybe I'll just do a big shadow for this because that's a lot of ellipses in shadow. So we'll just pop it in a shadow and fix the shape later. Yeah, that feels a bit better. Let's get the shadow under here too. It's more of a cast shadow altogether. And I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do with hard and soft edges altogether, really. Because those are usually definitely like the refining points later. Let's see if we can get anything done with that. Get the idea of that bridge of the nose in. The idea of that eye. It's closed. You can actually see the bones of the eye socket on this person. Um, I think I put that cheek out a bit too much. I also have to be worried about um, pushing my charcoal away with my f my hand on this side so I'll work I'll try to work from left side inwards so I don't do too much of that maybe we can get some more of that soft shading and just those cast shadows see how this attaches to here 
We'll find maybe over here in the Uteri to get that in. To get the large shape of that in, then we'll throw in the shadow. And we can refine it afterwards. We're just going to go for big um, statements. We're going about speed here and just the big idea of someone. This can be a good idea actually if you're um, doing a big piece or just like a, a proper proper painting of someone. Just try try uh, do a sketch of just feeling yourself uh, around around someone's head. Not with your hands, but you know, with your pencil. <laughs> you could try your hand as well. Maybe if it's not, maybe it's if it's your portrait, <laughs> or you know you know the person really well and they're okay with it. But in general, in general, I'd stick to I'd stick to the pencil. Let's maybe fix the lips a bit here. We've kind of forgot about them, eh? Mm, I think we're getting on okay. How much time do we have left? I'd say about four minutes. We've got a lot of the main features of the face down. I might need to start clearing up some of the area with my eraser just to make some of my, my bits I put down just a bit cleaner, eh? Get that ear in, might as well get the rest of it in, eh? Don't know if I'll go too detailed with it, but I need the idea of it in. An ear is a powerful thing in a portrait. Tells you a lot about direction and light. Let's get something about it in. And then we'll get the neck in. The neck is also just in complete shadow, so maybe we'll... Just throw that idea in. I'll write down in the description what uh, materials I'm using. It's a Neutrum charcoal and then Hannah Mulep uh, drawing and sketching paper, which I actually really like mostly for graphite work. But the graphite doesn't show up too well in a video, so I decided to go with um, charcoal today. And I do love charcoal, but it doesn't set as well as the, the graphite on this paper. Okay, when I'm putting in the hair, I'm just going to put in the direction it's going more than anything. Just a block for the shadows and the colour of the hair. Well, not colour. Yeah, just the shadows and the value of the hair. Alright, how are we doing for time? About two more minutes. Maybe I'll just continue with the shadows a bit, maybe try to make some softer edges around. And then I'll come in with my eraser just to clean it up slightly. And I'll keep that shadow in. Maybe get a bit softer eh? all the way around. I think we're doing okay for time. We can continue, we're putting our shadows in. I think I've made this slightly too hard, so let's erase that edge. I don't absolutely need it in. Oh, shadows am I missing? Maybe just the idea of this cheek. Throw that in. That looks okay. I think I maybe put this Draw the line up too much, let's get rid of some of that, or just move it around. And we can put that back in here. And come back in with the eye a little bit to get a bit more definition. Same on this side. And we'll get some of the darks try complete the portrait before I run out of time here. Can't get too dark with this medium charcoal. I think I I think I have a H here. I thought it was a HB when I picked it up. And we're just about to run out of time I think. I'll give myself a few more seconds because I did I did start talking at the start of this so I have a little bit more time than I think, I think.
Yeah, okay. I think we're okay with this. So in just a few minutes, we've got a good study about values. Mostly just the values of this person's head. Now if I wanted to go on the painting, I could use this as just a backup reference for myself. Mostly working in kind of bigger shapes and the bigger ideas of it all, you know. Didn't take too long. But I've gotten something down that's kind of nice, I think. Just a quick sketch. And it's cool actually to improve your skills actually drawing from life as well. Because you know the person's, uh, if you're drawing from, from life, the person's head will move around a lot. And um, especially if you're doing like a figure and stuff, actually, you got to be a little bit quick or accurate, Qu quick and accurate um, when drawing. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, and I hope you guys actually give it a go. It is a good, it's a good bit of practice to do. Just to have something down. Because, uh, you know, sometimes if you're a bit, bit too meticulous, or maybe you're like, oh, you're drawing on paper you really like, uh, it can throw you off a bit. So, so grab something nice. Um, not nice. <laughs> grab a bit of charcoal, maybe a stick. And uh, really just work on it. Throw yourself into the drawing a bit. See how far you can get. And maybe time yourself, like I did. <laughs> Take care.